The problem with raising tax rates on the wealthiest Americans is that more than half of them uh, are small business owners. I think the figure is 97% of small business owners don't make over $250,000 a year. We just actually did a poll which found that uh, small businesses, uh, the majority of small businesses actually would like to see the uh, rates on the uh, upper brackets uh, go up because of their concern about the deficit. What we're seeing with Obamacare, uh, again, is driving up co the cost of health care, and that's making it harder for small businesses uh, to create jobs. Passing of the Affordable Care Act actually was the inspiration for us starting this business. These are not concepts that are that complicated for businesses to understand. And when businesses learn what's really in the law, there's extensive support. The president of a trucking company in Ashland, Virginia, in my district, says that constant regulatory changes by the EPA have caused the prices for his operation to go up. I truly believe that people have underestimated the impact and, and the desire of people to go green and to support the environment. Stronger fuel measures can only make our company more profitable and more responsible. Government needs to be taking an active role in incenting those industries that are the industries of the future. For instance, the clean energy um, sector of our economy. So that's, you know, that's where government can play a role. When John Arensmeyer owned a high-tech company, he didn't feel that the organizations that lobbied on behalf of small business really represented him or many other business owners. They put forth a monolithic view of what small business wants. I felt they were overly partisan and overly ideological and didn't really look pragmatically at what small businesses really need. So I felt there was an opportunity and a need for a new voice. In 2005, Arensmeyer founded Small Business Majority. Like other advocacy groups, Small Business Majority takes positions on issues including tax and regulation, but it doesn't follow the pack. Arensmeyer's group supported President Barack Obama's overhaul of the health care system, a stark contrast to the National Federation of Independent Business, which unsuccessfully argued against the law before the Supreme Court. Policymakers need to listen to different voices because there are a wide variety of small businesses out there. Our role is to aggregate those voices in a forthright and powerful way.